Hey y'all, just wanted to drop in and give you an overview of what to expect for uh, packaging up your final, uh, your project number one final. So we're here in this module for Thursday, uh, for Thursday, February 4th. Uh, this overview is due on uh, 11.59 on Sunday evening. Now I know right now on Thursday, y'all are working towards submitting your uh, your prototype, uh, your prototypes for peer review. So I extended this out just a few days just to make sure and clear the way for you to have time tonight to focus on your prototype. So if you get a chance between now and Sunday, make sure you watch this video, make sure you uh, review this and just provide uh, a, a note that says you reviewed this, you understand it um, as we look ahead to the final project number one and ask any questions that you might have there uh, in the in the responses. So real quick, this video is gonna be right here by the time it's posted. I've included a great video that goes over how to present uh, UX design ideas. It's a good overview of kind of what to expect uh, within the presentation experience on the UX side of the house. Um, and then finally, how to get any job with a stellar portfolio presentation. So the, the reason why we're doing a final project package is twofold. One, it takes everything that you've done uh, for, throughout, this, uh, throughout this project and puts it all into one package deliverable. And that's important because it's gonna show the culmination of all your work and your thought process and how you went from identifying a business to building out a mood board to, to drafting wireframes and then building out a prototype. And secondly, it's gonna give you a great portfolio piece, whether that's you looking for freelance opportunities or to build on a potential portfolio website or to showcase in a job interview that you have UI, UX, interactive design uh, skills and talents. And so uh, hopefully by the end of this final package, you could look at this and say, yeah, I would feel comfortable you know, showcasing this as an example of my work in UI, UX design. Um, and so in this video, this module, you'll just be making, we'll just, I'm just making sure that you review this content, you have an understanding of what's to be expected for project one final package. The actual module for you submitting your project one final package is on uh, Tuesday of next week. So week five, Tuesday at 11.59 p.m. I've extended that deadline. It was originally due at the beginning of class. I've made it due at the end of that night, just to give you a little extra time to polish off some of that work. So let me jump in here and show you an example of my final project one package, just so that you can have something that you you see as an example for you to go from. So I've pulled these requirements from that Tuesday week five module for your submitting of project package number project number one package. So you can find all these instructions in, in week five's Tuesday module with the flag for the, the finish line there. Um, so project number one's final package requirements and format. So uh, as a UX designer you're, or UI designer, you're often gonna have to present your work in a way that shows you've thought through the experience from start to finish, right? It's Sometimes it's not always good enough just to show a beautiful, awesome final prototype Oftentimes you have to walk through a client or walk with a potential business partner or somebody that you are pitching an idea to through your entire thought process. And that's what I'm hoping to do with this uh, Project uh, One package. Um, your final presentation size is gonna be that classic widescreen presentation format. So 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels tall. That's that classic widescreen format for projector display, for a nice presentation on your laptop if you have to present it virtually. Your final file type is gonna be a PDF, so no different than what we've do, been doing before. Your final project name, keep this in mind as you go to submit your work, is project one underscore presentation underscore your initials dot PDF. So for me, it would be project one underscore presentation underscore RSF dot PDF. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty here. So to uh, your instructions will be to post a PDF representing your full body of work for project one. So everything you've already been doing as it relates to mood boards and wireframing and why you chose your, your website in the first place to now your prototypes. Uh, what things to include, a base, I've included a basic framework uh, for you to get an understanding of what to include in your final 
project presentation. You're gonna need a title slide. You're gonna need an introduction or a an, an slash an overview of the project. Side note, you can borrow from the project statement and just tweak it to make it your own. You're gonna need the outcome. So what's your elevator pitch? Why are you choosing to redesign this business? Uh, and then we're gonna need examples of your process. Now, if you're thinking and, 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 and listening to this, you're probably thinking, well, I've already wrote out why I'm choosing my business. I've already listened and, and read the project statement. I already have screenshots of the before and after. I've already done my mood board. I already have my wireframes and I've already started to build my prototype. So all this is doing is taking all those things you've already done and bringing it into one final package. Uh, it also gives you a little bit of time if you didn't like what you did with your mood board to make a couple tweaks before you submit it in your final package. Same with your prototype, same with your wireframe. So uh, you'll need to include your process example. So screenshots of the before website, uh, examples pulled from your mood board with a link, examples of your wireframes with a link, your prototype examples with a link, and then finally a page that talks about your top three things that you learned from this project. You're gonna submit that in that next Tuesday module um, on, uh, uh, on week five, um, along with a 200 word uh, statement talking about the things that you're excited about, the things that you're happy about regarding your final design. This is an opportunity for you to show it off. We've been working in our individual groups for the past two or three weeks now. This submission will be for the entire class to see what each group has been working on. I've had the opportunity to see what everybody is doing and I'm so excited for y'all to see each other's work um, outside of those groups across the board to see how uh, folks have done throughout the class. So again, another note, this, this project, this final package deliverable will be worth 15% of your final grade. Keep in mind that no late work will be accepted. So if you submit it after that 1159 deadline, it's gonna result in a zero. And obviously if that's 15% of your grade, that's a pretty big hit to your overall grade. So uh, projects like this could make or break your, your grade. We'll have four opportunities uh, to submit uh, these final uh, project packages, each worth 15% of your grade uh, total. And so, um, Keep in mind, this is this is critical for you uh, succeeding and, and taking advantage of, of some of the great opportunities you have um, through this class. So let me go through and, and walk you through my final presentation, what that's gonna look like. And then over in uh, next Tuesday's module, I'll actually walk you through uh, the entirety of my presentation, what the final format looks like. But I just wanna kind of show you what I've got so far and what I've been pulling from. So down here, I'm just creating it in Adobe XD. I've created an artboard that's 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels tall. And I'm just gr grabbing and using assets that I've already screenshotted or examples or a part of my UI to build this out. So I have my title page here to give me an overview of what this project is all about. I have an overview of the project itself. I've pulled this from just the project statement and adapted it to uh, fit my needs as uh, uh, as I'm doing the handles ice cream. Now you might be you're obviously doing other websites, so you can tailor this, tweak this to make this. Uh, your own. So just a brief overview statement, project overview of what you as the designer are expecting somebody to get from this presentation. I like to include maybe just a sentence or two to kick that off and then talk about the things that are a part of this overall presentation. So you're going to talk about how you selected the business, identified the opportunities for improvement. You created a, a not a mold board. You don't want to create a mold board. You created a mood board uh, of inspiration. You've developed wireframes of a new design and you've prototyped a set of screens for the redesign. On this next page, I've got a summary statement. So why am I even choosing to do handles? Why is it important? So I give a little overview of what handles is all about. And my goal in the redesign is to showcase these unique qualities of handles through their website. To do so, I focused on these three key areas. Now, if you remember back to one of the uh, discussion posts you did, you had to identify what were the three things that you wish to accomplish through this redesign. And so you can pull those, reuse them here to showcase these are the three areas I wanted to focus on as a part of this redesign. I also then go into the examples of the current state. So you've already pulled screenshots of your, uh, of your business. So include those screenshots here. I've also included a link to their current website. So as I generate a PDF, I can click on that and go and see 
uh, that business's current website. Now, then we move into the uh, the mold boards or the mood boards. Uh, I've just taken that those assets, those things that I've included in my mood board, and because I'm staying in XD, I can just copy and paste from that mood board file. So I've pulled in assets from my mood board to show a primary and secondary color, my four adjectives, my headline font, my body font. I've then included my photography assets, my UI inspiration. So it's okay if these go into multiple pages for you, um, but but you're just reusing the assets you already have. So I'm showcasing what I did for my mood board. Uh, the requirements were to show examples from that, but then also include a link. So I have a link uh, from my share link that I generated on that file. The same way you're generating share links for your uh, for your prototypes is the same way you do it for your mood board. So I just generated the share link. I'm copying and pasting it here. Uh, next, I have my wireframe. So I'm showing the snapshot of my wireframe. So my homepage menu, my fundraisers. Now, again, I, this is a link to that uh, that wireframe that I've, I've created in Adobe XD. I've just taken the images that are off my phone and I've copy and pasted them into artboards in XD. We walked through that in the generating the wireframes portion of the, that milestone two there for wireframes. So I have examples of my desktop wireframes, examples of my mobile wireframes, and now I go into examples of my prototype. Now, obviously your prototype is probably gonna be much longer than this screen. So it's okay to crop it to fit kind of the screen and the size that you have for this presentation. The key thing is that you include the link to that prototype. So while I'm not showing the entirety of the homepage, if I'm presenting this to a client, I can quickly click on this link, jump out to that and showcase the entire page for them. So it's okay if you're only showing a snapshot of your homepage, it's important that you show an example of it and also include the link. So I have the desktop view and mobile view for homepage, I have the desktop view and mobile view for the menu, and then I have a desktop view and a mobile view for the fundraiser uh, fundraiser page. And finally then my last page is gonna be my lessons learned. So I haven't finished this yet, I'll finish it by the time I do the last video, uh, but um, uh, you'll include three lessons learned from your work overall in the uh, in in this uh, redesign of a local business. So uh, the good thing about this is this is your first one. This is your first project uh, presentation, and so you can see I have 12 slides here that I ultimately end up having. Um, but you can reuse whatever template you do here um, for project number two, project number three, and project number four. You're going to be required to submit project uh, presentations, project overviews for each of, uh, each of your four major projects for this class. So I thought it'd just be helpful to walk through and give a brief overview. So what you need to do for this module is just uh, watch the videos, uh, look at some of the content that I've included in this module, um, and then let me know that you've, you've watched it, commentate or co comment that you've done all of the above, you've watched all the above, and if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the response, and I'll try to quickly get back to those if you have any. So hopefully this has been a helpful overview. Um, again, I'm excited to see what you guys are doing uh, for your work and excited for you all to see each other's work there at the very end. So hopefully this has been helpful as we walk through what to expect in the final uh, Project One package that's due uh, on Tuesday, uh, February 9th at 11.59 p.m. So that's the Tuesday, uh, February 9th at 11.59 uh, p.m. You can see that that is listed actually there as the first module on week five. So it's got the little flag there, let you know that's our first milestone deliverable there. So hopefully that's been helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and looking forward to seeing what you guys uh, finish with. All right, see y'all.